So, um, these rackles? Oh, yeah. I, 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 I brought them on my shuttle, but uh, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I'm just a pilot. I was hired to fly here. My boss is the one you want, not me. Yeah, but who is your boss? Your boss's name. Now, you heard of Dr. Lorik. He's a member of the 37 families, the main political rivals of the royal family. He hired me to make a delivery to Kaon. Soon as I touched down, the Rackles came pouring out. It was ugly. He's hiding out at a secret base on Ord Mantel. So, uh, that's about all I know. Now are you ready to get me off this rock? Mm, no. You've outlived your usefulness. Say goodbye to your life. <laughs> oh, at least she died laughing. It's unfortunate we couldn't question that pilot before you killed her, but we were still able to put together a file on Dr. Lorik. He cannot be allowed to continue. Agreed. Left unchecked, he could become a serious rival. The shuttle is waiting to take you to Dr. Lorik's base on Ord Mantel. Hopefully you'll find records of his experiments with the virus. That way, you won't have to take him alive. Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and look at me moving while the camera is moving, and welcome back to the Sith Warrior. It is time for the season finale and Ian is here to witness it oh yes also on Skype but of course he's BRB at the moment no he's not because he's clapping although he said he was BRB but now he's not anymore so we are doing the Lost Island but first we must find a group we just found two other people because Ian told me that we need two other people to actually press some buttons whatever that's gonna be whenever we get to it so Ah, uh, God knows how long this is going to take, but let us try and find a group. Well, how about that? We actually did get a group, and I better mute you, Ian, because I don't want you to be speaking while we're doing stuff. I thought it was going to take a lot longer than that, but turns out it didn't. Righto. Into the Lost Island we go. Better hope these people don't actually leave, but they probably will. And this is where the season finale of Season 3 begins. Whether we succeed at the Lost Island is up to the group. You watch, they'll probably want me to spacebar and everything, but nope! Are we down a tank already? Really? They left. Oh, come on. Once again, we finally found another tank because the last one sort of left and then the DPS sort of left and then we've got a new DPS and we've got a new tank. But will they leave? Probably because I'm thinking um, that previous tank we had might have just had um, looking for group for all of hard mode flashpoints and just ended up in the last island and probably thought, nah, screw this. But, never mind, hopefully we can actually get through this now, unless this tank leaves as well, because finding a tank is a nightmare. And away we go! To kill enemies which probably have no impact on the story whatsoever. That, I was going to say, that, dif that diseased flutter plume looked like it was spazzing out for some reason. Ooh, this is a, this, this looks so pretty. Ooh, there's lava and everything. And those creatures just went over lava. Surprised they're not burning alive. Oh yeah, of course this is Ord Mantel, isn't it? I completely forgot about that. That is so cool. I'm so glad that we're on Ord Mantel. Uh, where are we going? We just... Aha! Ooh, there's a bonus mission. Didn't realise that. Uh, okay. Remember, this is the first time I have ever done the Lost Island, so... Forgive me if I'm crap at this, because... Yeah. Oh, we can just skip by. Oh, we're we literally just going to be skipping by all these enemies. Well, that's a shame. Wait for the tank though, don't, you know, don't leave him behind, don't leave him lost and uh, having to deal with all the crap we might leave behind. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a very short season finale if we're just going to be skipping by all of them. Wow. Oh look, something we actually have to kill this time! Wow! How amazing! I don't think Bioware really intended for us to uh, skip past skip past all of those but it kind of just ended up happening which is a shame shh it's okay colossal grazer it's okay Ooh, an observation probe 
a bit weird. Are we going down here? Oh, I see. I was going to say, we're about to fall into lava, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, help! <laughs> help me! Uh, wanna, wanna pull me over? Wanna, oh yeah, of course. Oh wait, I can just do this, can't I? Duh! I was going to say, do you want to save me, Ian? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. I mean, literally, we literally are just skipping past all of these. Oh my god, that is... This is going to be a very, very short season finale. I mean, very short. And I do apologise if that is the case. Uh, can I jump down? I can't. No, I'm going to have to fall to my death. Ow. That really hurt, but I survived. What's this here? A staff of some kind. And they're all over there and they're about to get to us. So far, this has been a very <laughs> blare episode because we've just been skipping past all of these enemies. <sighs> well, at least we didn't have to kill them. Their lives have been saved. Oh, but this is the first boss. Oh, blimey, we got here fast. Circles are bad. Okay. We might be. We might even kill this boss before uh, it does any real damage to us. That was so easy. <laughs> oh my god. That is. That was ridiculously easily. Easily. The, 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 again, live audience. I've got Ian on Skype. It's there. Too much pressure for me. Oh, and I won the greed thing as well. Are we going to be doing the bonus mission? I don't know. I'd like to, so that I can do the um, bonus boss, if there is one. For like the first and last time, considering it's impossible, or okay, nearly impossible, because we did get a group to actually find a group. I mean, Ian's the healer, I'm the DPS, all we needed was another DPS and a tank, and it just took about, what, half an hour to find one? So, eventually we did, but... It can be tricky. And jumpy jumpy. I've never said that before, jumpy jumpy. Progress on the enhanced strain of the Ragnar virus is slow, but I will not be daunted. I have spent too long in exile. I will return to the worlds I once called home as a conqueror and a hero. Those who cast me out will bow down before me. They will cry for mercy and be rewarded with death. Well, that's just rude, isn't it? Why would you do that to people you don't even know? Then again, I do it all the time. Die, droid, I don't know! Oh, why did I attack these guys? Oh, well. More of a challenge for us. Ow, ow, ow. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Another log? Log entry 1322. I've modified the Rakul virus to cross the species barrier. A monumental breakthrough. The mutative properties have been enhanced as well. The newly transformed creatures are stronger and more powerful than previous generations. Even with their increased strength and aggression, they remain responsive to my commands. My work is nearing completion. It's nearing completion, goddammit. Is this that droid you were on about Ian before? The one where we got to do the four terminals. Boss drop circle, leave circles to the side. Oh, okay. What, drop circles on us? Whoa! Ooh, droids, hello. Not droids, um... Are these rack? Oh, these Rackles creatures, I think so. Oh, those circles, I see. I uh, shall kill you. Oh, blimey! Whoa, lava! That is pretty. Ah, fire! This is a very cool boss, I can tell you that. Again, how many bosses? It always seems to be you, Ian, doesn't it? How many bosses are there in Lost Island? I have no idea. I thought there was like seven. Because this is meant to be an end game flashpoint of the 1.0 series of patches. 
<laughs> and you're dead. Lovely. Oh, was that like a final stand for that for that boss just to spew out some electricity? Well, it didn't even touch me. Mwahaha. ha ha. That was a very, that was a very fun boss. What are you doing? What is he doing? Cinema scope. What are you doing? We've got some people to kill. Come on, let me jump up there. Let me jump up there. Don't kill him yet. No. Oh, damn you! I wanted to jump up there. I hate you, Ian. It's all your fault. Die, you observation probe. You're not going to observe me. What are you even observing anyway? Are you just observing the way we attack or what? Or are you trying to get under my clothes? Or even worse, under my skin? So now, had you used Feign Death just then, Ian, I probably wouldn't have t been able to tell. Just saying, you probably could have fooled me then. Dr. Addy Ingrall, log entry 1344. I and the other assistants have noticed some disturbing results. Current test subjects show very different characteristics than those originally captured on Terrace. It's almost as if someone has been tampering with the specimens. Dr. Lord believes the changes are due to the virus's natural adaptability. If he's right, oh. our efforts to find a cure will be even harder than we thought. Damn it. Is that like a direct reference to uh, another class? I'm not going to say which, but is that a proper direct reference? Because it sounds like it is. All I'll say is that it's one of the classes that I have, that I am doing a playthrough of. That it's, I think it's sort of referencing there. Sort of, but not sort of. I don't really know. It sounds like it is, because... I've seen in the past that the Rackgulls can be, the Rackgull virus can be adaptable. For the better or worse. And I'm glad they did a flashpoint, or flashpoints, dedicated exactly to the Rackgull virus. Because, you know, they, they implemented that in KOTOR and then they just sort of left it alone after a while. Yeah, they brought it back in SWOTOR, but, you know, I wanted them to actually do, like, a proper story. You know, how did it begin? And... Something like that. And Cinemascope has been defeated on the third boss. And we've got ads on the way. I'll deal with these. Right, so you dealt with... I got new mail. Woohoo! Ow, ow, get off me. And you have been defeated. Wonderful. A, a healer has been defeated. But we can do this. Wonderful. That was very easy. Both of you died. I mean, what's that about? Come on. I mean, I know we didn't get the ads off you, but come on. Come on, Ian. You're better than this. I better heal you up. Ah, uh, you disappoint me, Ian. I didn't pull anything. I didn't pull anything. Don't blame it on me, Ian. I didn't do anything. Yeah, it was Cinemascope. Yeah. Where is Cinemascope? Oh, he's over there. Oh, yeah. I, okay, it was him. I was going to say, it wasn't me. For sure. I don't know. It's just that idea that I always think, well, you're blaming someone for something. Oh, it's bound to have been me then. Because I, I, I suck up all the time. You know, I mess up all the time. I, it's just it's just a habit. I think everything is my fault. Because it usually is. Uh, where are you going? We need to go this way. Yeah, Cinemascope. I get the feeling. Let me just check his gear. I get the feeling he's a new level 55. Oh, he's not. Oh, okay. That, that is... Okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> he's obviously done operations before. It's just a bit bizarre how he... You know, he is practically like me. In every way. Making mistakes all the time. Oh, right, these rackles look like lions or something. I don't really know. Okay, let's go upstairs. What is upstairs? Oh, the power plant. Oh, is this the... Is, are we going to get to that boss yet, Ian? I'm waiting to get to that boss. <laughs> because I'm looking forward to... I'm looking forward to be, doing that boss and then you saying, Oh, it's so difficult. 
Oh, there we go. You say it's so difficult, and then we just sort of do it one shot. We probably won't, but I'd like to see that happen. Uh, never mind, anyway. Come on, Ian. What are you doing? Ooh, that is a weird shot. Oh, hello. Oh, ain't you a cutie? I used to look like that. And there we go. Right, so. Please wait before pulling. I'll explain tactics to Kranitoku who doesn't know the strats. Uh, what if he doesn't know the strats as well? Come on. Ah, these four terminals. I see. Boss will start to rage or whatever. We stand under him, so when he does knock back, we fly up instead of outwards. I'm guessing he will do a uh, a thingy. I'll just stick by you, Ian, then, if that's the case. Because you'll know where you're going. And then, obviously, when we've got to go to these terminals, then I'll do them. Right, so, so... Three terminals. And... Make sure we're under him when he's doing something, so that we jump up rather than to the side. And then, okay, jumps up onto a pipe. Okay, we all go to a terminal, we all go to a terminal, we all go to a terminal. One, two, it's a ten second cast, it's a nine second cast, damn you. And there we go. Ah, I see. It does that, does it? Well, so far this is easy. I don't know about you, Ian, but this is easy so far. Okay. Ah, uh, this is my one. Okay, I'll go for that. Oh, I'll go for that one then. I told you I was meant to go for that one, but you didn't, did you? There we go. That was probably pointless, but there we go. I'll go for this one. Hello, you! What are you doing up there? You look like a dog, for some reason. Like a dog would mix with a... a bull... mix with... I don't know. God knows what. I was about to jump up to you then. I was that would have been bad. Whew. Jumps up to a pipe again. Come on. How many times is he going to do that? It's ridiculous. He's not even I was going to say he's not even doing the terminal. Ha ha, you're being burned. Ha 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 ha. ha. And dead. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. That was way easy. Uh, hopefully, I'll win that so I can give it to uh, uh, another class. But I probably won't. No, I did not. Lovely. And now we can carry on. And apparently, the rest is going to be a breeze. Ian, that was so easy. Probably not for you, though. Although, surely the last boss is going to be a difficult one. Although, some flashpoints, the last boss has been the easiest boss. I mean, in fairness, I feel like Malgus was a letdown when I killed Malgus. Just slightly. Just a slight letdown. Didn't they change that as well? They changed the whole death with Malgus. You know, he, he, in the original one, you were meant to push him off the edge. Whereas in the current one, he just dies, apparently. I don't know if that's true or not, but that... That kind of changes the story, doesn't it? Sort of. Because the story was that he was meant to fall to his death, but now if he just dies, then that's changing the law around. Well, I know it's in the expanded universe, but it changes the expanded universe law, if you know what I mean. 
Aha! The next terminal! More story! Woo! Dr. Sanis Lord of the Bog Entry 1408. The modified virus is ready for field testing in the Tyon hegemony. The first few worlds will be wiped out. Their populations will become records under my control, swelling the ranks of my armies. Really? The hegemony secured, I will spread my campaign world by world until I sweep away the war-torn tatters of both the Republic and the Empire. Well, that's just... Ugh. Why would you do that? I mean, what... What, what could you possibly gain from doing that? I mean, yeah, sure, there's... Oh, I don't really want to spoil it, actually. I was going to spoil something, but I don't really want to. In another class, I suppose there's someone who... Lorik, log entry 1411. Preliminary results from the hegemony have exceeded even my expectations. The success has led me to reevaluate the virus. I understand now that it is neither a disease nor a weapon. The exposed become bigger, faster, stronger, genetically improved in every way. The virus is evolution perfected. It must be spread across the entire galaxy. Oh, I see you're doing it because because it just looks cool, I'm guessing. Yeah, I know there's another class that tries to do something like that. Um for something, but I'm not going to say what. Uh, right, whoa, 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 uh, okay, I guess we'll jump down, oh, hello, oh, you're frozen, oh, well, you're not going to be frozen for long, are you? Dr. Addy Ingrall, supplemental log update, Dr. Lorik has gone completely mad, we realize now he was never working on a cure for the virus, his work is an abomination, we have to stop him, after I delete his files, we will try to take him into custody, I fear he may oppose us with violence, but we have no other choice. Why did it feel like that he was trying to speak that as fast as he could to get in with the timer? That was a bit odd. Uh, stay away from each other when we slowed. Okay. Yeah, he was just speaking it so far. I know he was probably trying to sound panicked, but he sounded way fast. Because there was only like 15 seconds before the bonus objective updated. Oh, well. Away we go. How will we know if we're slowed, though? Oh, am I really doing more damage than the tank? Yeah. Oh, 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 that's why. Blimey. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, come on. Come on. Leave me alone. Come on. Okay, and that's ended. Awesome. Whew. That was interesting. I should probably be facing that way rather than going backwards. Otherwise, because I think I think you're slower if you're backwards rather than if you're going forwards. I think. Not entirely sure. And he's going to stop in a minute. There we go. And now we can just kill you. And dead. Wonderful. And what's this? Oh, 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 I want it. I want it so bad. I want it. What does it look like? Oh, that's cool. I want it. Give it to me. Damn you! I wanted it so bad. Oh, I'm never going to get that again now. Oh, although people are probably selling it on the GTN. Probably for so much because nobody does the Lost Island. Stop laughing, Ian. I know that was you. That is a bit weird. That the fact that they're listening to her. Ew. Oh, oh, what, what? Oh, why would you do that? Also, the game's gone a bit quieter lately. I don't know why. Ever since that cutscene, the game's just sort of stayed quiet. It's a bit weird, but it'll probably pick itself back up in a minute. No! No, 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 no. For a second there, I thought I was going to be pulled by those. I was going to pull those, even. Uh, we're gonna have to kill this droid. You dare rope us in, droid? You dare? Oh, credits. For a second, for a second, I literally thought that was you, Ian. Ah, oh, remember, Ian. Flame is the one which you attack first, not a target. That's how it works in this game. At least in my eyes. Then again, Ian, you know a lot more than I do about this game. 
Because I, I, I'm just terrible at this game generally. I don't know abilities. I just I don't pay attention to them. I just mash a button and I hope it does a lot of damage, but I really shouldn't do that. I'm guessing this is the final boss. Come on. Butchers, trespassers, how dare you come into my lab and slaughter my children? How dare you come into my lab and slaughter my children? That was a bit weird, Lorik. Come on. Your children are mindless brutes, unfit to live. I wouldn't expect the Empire to understand. Your prejudice blinds you to the glory of my creations. I had the same problem with my assistants. They sabotaged my files, tried to destroy my lab. Since their transformation, however, they've become much more loyal. Oh, I see. I've already taken out about a hundred of your children. What's a few more? The rat ghouls you faced in my lab were nothing compared to these. I have found a way to evolve the virus. Each new strain makes the host more powerful than the last. That power can be yours. Let me inject you with the virus and you will become greater than you ever dreamed. Ah, uh, shall I say you first? Let's see. If the latest version of the virus is so great, why don't you inject yourself? I was simply stalling for time. I injected myself with the latest version of the virus just before you arrived. You're animated very weirdly. I hate the way things grow out of his hands. On the pinnacle of evolution with awe and terror. Weep for what you will never become! It reminds me of uh, Resident Evil, the first film, when um, uh, several attacks stay out of circles and just keep moving, attack cultural tanks when needed, and just generally burn boss. Yeah, if you ever watch Resident Evil 1, when that. Uh, I say spoiler, technically the film's been out for a long time, so I'm gonna say it anyway. What's his name at the end of the film? When he has those sort of like little worms sort of crawling out of his skin at the end before he turn become before he becomes nemesis. Ah, oh, that just creeps me out. Koto. Koto. Okay. And he's back. Ah. We are evolution perfected. You witness the future of the galaxy. Ah, no, 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 no. Well, you can try, but. I'm afraid we're more powerful than you, because you are about to die. Unless you go into a Colto tank again. Oh, he healed! He. Oh! 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 He's just healed. Oh! Okay. Interesting. Didn't realize he was. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't expect that, to be honest with you. That's all. And he's down. And there we go. Wonderful. And I got two achievements, really? Get lost Lorik, what's that? Ah, oh, I see. Oh, I'm to defeat Arca, I see now. Uh, that and mysterious egg. I shall need that mysterious egg, whatever it is, and greed. Wonderful. We did hard mode. Brilliant. Well, that was certainly fun. I don't. I don't know why people don't really want to do that anymore because that boss with the terminals that wasn't as as hard as I thought it was going to be. Though for, for Ian, probably was. Anyway, we need to go back and speak to Darth Nurin again. And now let us speak to Darth Nurin. We have stopped the Ratgul plague. For now. 
The Tyan Hegemony has sent an official message of gratitude for eliminating Dr. Lorik. They seem quite eager to curry our favor. Apparently, crushing our rivals sends an appropriate message to the rest of the galaxy. I only wish we could have recovered Lorik's research. A weaponized version of the Rakul virus would have been a welcome addition to our arsenal. When word gets out of what we've done, others will assume we acquired it. That could also be useful. True. The mere threat of another outbreak is itself a weapon, though I doubt we will need it any time soon. We've eliminated a potential usurper of our power, and strengthened ties with the Tyan hegemony. This was a great victory for the Empire. The Republic will tremble in fear when they learn of this. It will be a glorious day when our ancient enemy is finally wiped out. A day that draws closer, thanks to your actions. Farewell. I look forward to working together again, should the opportunity arise. And there we go. Oh, I actually get a weapon as well. Hmm, what should I go for? I should go for one more power, because I get strength there, but I need power. Obviously, this is going to go to my Jedi Knight again. Uh, I guess I'll go for that one. And there we go. The Lost Island is done. And now, it's time for a well-deserved break. To my stronghold! Here's a thought. Revan is out there right now, plotting God knows what. I must make myself more powerful before he returns once more. But that means becoming flesh again. No. I must do this, no matter how long or painful it will be. I must be stronger. This is going to suck so bad. Oh god, here we go. Ah! I'm awake. Uh, ow, oh, 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 uh, hello. Anyone there? Oh, oh wait, I live alone, don't I? Duh! Oh god, why do I burn so much? Oh god. It's almost like I have a body again. Wait a second. I have a body again! Oh my god! Oh man, this is awesome! It's time to get some new armor. Oh yeah!